road construction company, that's what it's out there. Uh, over our interest place project. Uh, I will tell you any other construction project uh, it will be doable audible Thank you. Um, my name is Derek. <laughs> this is Ty Looney. Um, I'm going to go through the traffic control part of it. Talk through that, and if you guys have questions about other questions. Uh, this is already mentioned. concrete. Last concrete. wide road is about a foot wider on each side. Concrete paving. Highways will be placed at the grade of the road. Top grade of the surface grade of the road. We will be going to place all of the driveway. That work will be They are planning on. My message for the local has to be They will be setting special signage for part of the learning actually in the seven years. It is closed down the road to food traffic. It will be uh, left open with flag men in place for anybody that lives or we've got City Hall on. Any residents that live on that stretch of ranch house, it will be you will have access into the, into your homes. Um, you know we'll work with you as best we can. As Bernie said, that these things are never perfect and they're not going to be. Uh, these guys will be. Uh, they'll have flag men in the field, as I mentioned, and signage, and they'll have people around watching. We will have somebody on site daily when construction is going on, um, and so we will do the best we possibly can to make sure you guys have the least interruption and access as possible. But there's going to be some. Um, what they will do is mill the entire road uh, starting next week. That means they'll chew up the existing pavement that's there and remove it. Uh, but once that's done, they will leave uh, the northbound lane of traffic or the southbound, whichever, whichever side they start on. They'll leave one side open to northbound traffic. So our plan is to uh, maintain from the scenic side going north through traffic that direction for anybody to get to their homes and stuff. Um, that way we don't have traffic coming both directions. So you're not trying to get into your home and you got somebody else coming. So when they get the other side, whatever side they're working on, they will get that set up, get it ready, and get it paid uh, in concrete. And then they will move over and start working on the other side. There will be a little bit of lag there because once that concrete's poured, you have to give it a minimum of three days depending on, on how you do it. At least two or three days, or excuse me, at least three days, possibly more, where that can't be uh, good enough. So there will be, we'll work the lag with these guys so that you still have access on the side that's open. But once that concrete cures, then we, they will open up that side and move over to the other side. And then work so then you'll have the other, the other lane of traffic. In, in the um, there will be detouring. The, 
the stagecoach intersection with ranch house is currently concrete and that's not being redone. So that intersection will stay open all of the time. Um, you can kind of tell by the detour signs, but I'll describe it. So if you're coming from the north, uh, Fox Hunt Trail will be open and that intersection will be open. So you can take Fox Hunt around to El Chico and all the way down to back to Scenic and come out that direction. Uh, you can also get, go down to San Bass if you're coming from within the area. Or you can go uh, down stagecoach either direction. So those detours will be in place so the traffic can move that direction and go around the project. Uh, obviously on the south end, uh, you can take scenic back to Ranch House or you can go down to Chico as well. Uh, but those detours will be in place for the duration of the project. Um, the, the schedule right now, the contractor schedule right now, again, is to start uh, construction work next week. And their schedule right now has shows them uh, completing the work by uh, December. I think all of the paving work is shown to be completed by Thanksgiving. So it's a pretty uh, a pretty good time frame to get that done. Uh, we don't have any reason to think that won't happen, but that's if, if you paid attention to the other job uh, and, and they can follow their schedule and be able to schedule and hopefully be in and out. We will have, I've talked to the public uh, trash service, I've talked to the postal service, and I've talked to the school. Uh, they will all be, uh, uh, advance will be allowed for them to get through every day as, as they do now. Um, the only thing that that I can think of at the moment, and we'll, we'll find other things as we go, but the, uh, the postal service will not get out of their cars. So, at, at certain times, for instance, when they pour one side of the road in concrete and that time that it has to cure, we can't have traffic on it. So what they may, what we may do is move all of the mailboxes over on one side temporarily. We ask that you guys work with us and, and, and deal with that so that during the time that that's required that, that the mail service can get to your mailbox and get your message. We will put out flyers, we will knock on doors, all of that kind of thing when those things start coming up. And, uh, try to keep you guys informed well ahead of time of what's what's coming. But uh, other than that, the service should should move as normal normal for you guys. They'll have to make allowances for getting through but the buses and the trash and everything. Is aware of it, and they're all um, they've all indicated that they'll work with us. And don't have any reason to think that the service will be interrupted. Um, mentioned the message boards, the flagmen. I guess that's, if there are any questions about the traffic control, I suppose we can do with that now. Does anybody have any questions? Is this from Surrey Court North? This is uh, from Scenic. Phoenix. This will go from Scenic North to Fox Hunt. Uh -huh. What we want to try to do as far as keep the simplicity of it here is that for all three traffic, just the duration of it, it's just going to be northbound traffic only. So you would follow where your traffic pattern as far as getting get back to that northbound. So even when they complete the, the construction of one side, it's still going to be north. Even though you may have a southbound lane, it's still going to be, that you're used to driving right now, it's just everything is going to be northbound. So we'll just keep it as simplicity if during the thing if everything goes north for, for three tracks. Does that make sense? We tried to manage it on the last job with Fragman and, and and allowing traffic both directions, but they didn't do a very good job of managing that. And, and again, it became a <coughs> problem and, and really dangerous on a couple of occasions. So we, we, to we live at 209, so that'll be part of the project. 209, uh, 209 Ranch House, I believe. Yes, sir. Yes. If you look at uh, the. Uh, yeah. I believe you guys are right in order to see. And don't show us. They are. Yes, yeah. 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 yeah, if you look where it says road close to through traffic, this. Yeah. This, uh, it's going to be right at the south end, and yeah. it's got an arrow, a detour sign arrow right next to it. That's the right up there. Yeah, here's scenic oh, right there. Okay. Yeah. So that's where you're going to yeah, that's where you're so going to go. I think you guys live right in here. So we will be able to get home and everything we need. We will be able to get home? Yes, yes. In and out? Yes, sir. All has, this is going to be for three traffic only, so the residents that live on this stretch will be going through there. All other traffic will go through the detour. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'll just reiterate this. This is a construction project. It's a construction project on an existing travel road, so it's never going to be ideal. Uh, we'll do the best we can to, to make sure that everything runs smoothly. These guys are are uh, going to do the same, and uh, we'll all be kind of watching each other. So, um, you guys, let us know if you have problems. We'll try to address them as quickly as possible. And like I said, we'll try to we'll try to be ahead of it as much as possible. Now, as far as the drainage that's going to be from, you know, up all of that, that approach all the way to the edge of the easement up to the edge of y'all's finished road, you said you're going to go in there and work those, those di call them ditches, you're going to work those ditches in there. Do you intend on dropping or raising or trying to stick with current elevation, or is that just going to be something kind of done on the fly based on how everything's No, there's, there's specific grades in the plans. There are some places where the grade will change. We try to maintain the existing grade as much as possible. But there's places that, under the current condition, do not drain very well. So, so we'll like be, where I'm at, at 200, just north of 200, mm -hmm. there's a spot there where it's really, really low, and because we have all this groundwater comes in from behind us, so it consistently just runs right out onto the road, onto Ranch House Road. There, that's, that's what I was asking. Yeah, we'll be we'll be addressing that in a few other places like that at the road. What we're trying to avoid is digging out the ditch so much that we create a really steep. So um, uh, we're trying to, you know, we're trying not to do too much uh, changing, but where it's either low or, or high and, and blocking water, we'll grade those through so we get smooth transitions. So what will detours go into effect tomorrow or next week? Yes, next week. When we get started. So what will you be matching? Uh, I mean, what kind of uh, erosion control, kind of grass, sod? Are you going to put down, put back topsoil, or are you just going to take what's there and just kind of? No, we have we have added topsoil built into the field, and then we'll be hydro mulching, okay. which is the spray. Yeah. Um, so try to get it reestablished as quickly as possible. Was there a question? No, I'm sure as soon as you said we all get out, somebody's going to have a question. Um, what do we call? What, what do we call Rose? How do we get back in touch? Um, uh, you can call me and I'll give you my number. Oh my. I don't have a stack of cards with me. Probably should have done that. But I'll, I'll give you my number and you can call me. All right. Yeah, I think it's between the city as far as you can call myself or Brian. Uh, and then we'll get in touch with Derek if you got any concerns. I mean, we'll be more, more than happy to, to help you in the way we can. So, so it's either you, Brian, uh, or We have to move our mailboxes or They may possibly move the mailboxes. Again, the, the Postal Service will not get out of their vehicles. So if, if in order for them to do their work, it requires a, an offset from the mailbox that they can't, so they can't reach it, then they will have to move it. But in that case, we'll probably move them to the other side uh, temporarily. There's, you know, there are some breaking rock mailboxes that we'll have to deal with kind of on a case by case, but we'll do some kind of temporary. We will try to leave them up where they're at as long as we possibly can. Uh, a lot of them may be able to stay. In fact, a lot of them will be able to stay, but uh, some of them will definitely probably be able to So I'm going to ask a question that I've already asked you. I just want some clarification. There's that little cross hatching there that I'm seeing in here, uh, just a, roughly a 50 linear foot transition point uh, of that asphalt right there. It's concrete. Seen it? it's concrete. Oh, it's concrete. Okay. So yeah, that cross hatching will so there's not gonna be any asphalt right there. That cross hatching right. portion right there? That will be concrete. Uh, okay. Yes. Okay. So what I, I don't I guess I'm confused. What what's the cross hatching? What is it indicating so, there? So we've got the grade. The transition down. point. Is this just gonna be a, a change in grade? Is that change what it's indicating? Grade, yeah. Okay. It's the it's to match the grade so that you don't have a sharp transition at the end of that row because And will there will there from from the from the new grade that you're going to have up to our concrete driveways if you have one? Is there going to be a small half inch step or anything there? Do you know? Or is, uh, you know, like a, it's pretty common what you call that little... No, it, the way it's be, planned, you're, you're going to have a, we'll have a crown on the road. Yeah. Okay. So it'll be, the road surface will be coming down toward your driveway and then we'll be coming back up. Presumably some of them may come down. I think there's at least a couple that do that. But, okay. 
to match the existing grade of the driveway. So on yours, yours comes up slightly, if I remember correctly. So we'll so. we'll just from the edge of that road, we'll come back far enough. Just tie right in and just be seamless, yeah. essentially. Yes. Control. Yeah, you won't control have to control the gutter. Yeah. That yeah. gutter line. Yeah. You, know, you won't have that. Okay. Where will you be starting? The south end or the north end? Uh, that's. I'm assuming that we're going to start from the south end and work our way north. It just. Um, I'll schedule that with our contractor and figure out which, uh, which direction they're going to be in. Yeah, my melee. Thank you. You mentioned two things. You said December completion, then you said Thanksgiving. So which is the paving. So the overall completion time that they have currently is December. Fairly certain. Yes, it it's it's a, right, right at the end of the year. Okay. The the concrete paving portion, which is which is not the complete project, but uh, they are projecting to have all of the paving done by Thanksgiving. Okay. So then you would have your driveway tie in. Yeah, go back a hundred miles, put vegetation down. Below. So from a traffic standpoint, we sh no delays could drive on it by Thanksgiving. Yeah, regular. Yeah, barring delays. Yeah. Uh, regular driving. Yeah. Is this going to eliminate the late team wheelers coming down through there after all this is done? That's right. No, it's not. It's, not. it's, a, it's a base on the tonnage, uh, but no, sir. It seems like to me they're the ones that seem to tear up all the roads and so they have to all the weight. What's the weight capacity of the new road? I mean, is it going to be? I mean, it it will be considerably more than what you've got. Is it's the whole like DOT run anything you want to down there? No. No, I mean, it's, it's intended, it's, a, it's an arterial city street, and that's a, that's a specific design. It's, but it's size for semi trucks, semi loads. It's, the way a street, the way you design them, it's not necessarily based on a, a specific weight capacity. It's based on the number of trips for the specific capacity. So we look at a certain number of trips for a passion, passenger car over a period of time, and then we look at how many trips we have of a semi-load or a bus or, or a trash truck, and those are cumulative, and that's how you come up with the design. But it's, you know, it's intended to pass more than the current number volume of traffic of that size you have now. And we did some traffic. What's so, the and, and lifespan for something like this? What is usually concrete paving yeah, intended lifespan? Thirty years. Thirty years. Uh, hopefully, it'll go through. Thirty years is a long time. So it's, we will have this up online uh, this evening, and also on our Facebook. So, if I didn't get handouts. Sometimes really matters because you know people yeah. are just. Yeah, we'll have super striping. Like the intent is to do it like we have on the other end. Uh, will there, at Scenic and Ranch, will there be uh, a, like a temporary stop sign, I guess, there? Or is it going to be just kind of a yield, no stop sign? During construction? Yeah, I mean, when Yeah, you, no, there'll be barricades there. Because you'll be able to, your, your intent is so uh, they can still travel north. Uh, as they currently do, just not south. So, I, well, it's uh, just going to be for crew traffic. It's not going to be for local traffic. Local yeah. Well, local I'm just traffic. being on that corner. I'm thinking that the, the scenic trail is going to increase in traffic, which is where I also have a driveway there too. Right. So, that's going to increase as well. But I guess it's not. Yeah. We get the I, I don't know that that's it's not that point. I'm, well, once school starts, it's super crazy down there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. We we've, we've been discussing that. But, um, yeah, we'll look at that, but there will be guys there, and there will be, uh, you know, other types of signs. Like I said, there'll be a, there'll be questions come up, I'm sure. So we will be around. If you guys ever have a question, we'll have a copy of the plan up at City Hall. Question. Yes, sir. How can I get our mailbox moved from the 
east side over to the west side. This sure year is hard because of the that's, traffic. That's a postmaster uh, question. That's not, I, would, I would love to give you an answer. I, just, I don't have one of you to post on me. Post on me? Yes, you can. I'm looking at, it, at the safety factor. Sure. You got a question? Yes, I don't know if someone's already asked this or not, but if you are, if your driveway is on Ranch House Road, is it going to be blocked off at any point in time? And if so, is it going to be an alternate way to get in and out of your driveway? It, it, it will. Yeah, you'll have a temper. I mean, once we remove what's there. Yeah. Um, so the driveways you part of it will get removed and replaced as well, just like down there did? Okay. Yeah, you'll, you'll have access to your property. Okay. Yeah, we, we'll, we have to make sure we get you. Right. So if you have a problem with that. Okay. Um, of course, as always, you have public safety, you'll have access to it. Okay. All that. Okay. Any other questions? Great. Well, thanks for coming out. Uh, if you guys want to hang out here, go ahead and have questions. I want to take a look at anything. I'd be happy to uh, stick around and uh, answer everything I've got. But thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And who are you? I'm sorry, I'm the assistant.